Hi friends, welcome to SSG Electrical. In this video, I am going to discuss about the equivalent resistance between nodes A and B. Okay, between these nodes, we are going to calculate the equivalent resistance. In the given circuit, you can see that there is no resistance in between these two nodes. Okay, so no resistance in this. So what happens? All this, all this line at the same potential okay all this line at the same potential so you can observe this so from the given figure what we can understand here 3 ohms and the 6 ohms is in parallel 3 ohms and 6 ohms is in parallel how it is you see the 3 ohms is connected between the nodes of C and the B and the 6 ohms also connected between the C and the B that is why these two are in parallel therefore what we can write 3 parallel to 6 ohm that is 3 into 6 by 3 plus 6 that is if two resistors are connected in parallel what is the formula r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 so same formula i'm using so 3 6 are 18 18 by 9 that is 2 ohms we are getting and in the same way 12 ohms and 4 ohms this 12 ohms and the 4 ohms connected parallel because these two resistors connected between the same nodes okay you just understand this 12 ohm resistor 12 ohm resistor connected between the nodes of d and the b and the 4 ohm resistor connected between the nodes of the same nodes the d and the b therefore these two resistors also connected in parallel so 12 parallel to that is 12 ohm parallel to 4 ohm so what you will get that is 12 into 4 by 12 plus 4 so 12 4 is 48 by 16 that is 3 ohms so here between c and the b nodes equivalent resistance calculated that is 2 ohms and between the nodes d and the b equivalent resistance is 3 ohms and between d and b one more these two resistors also connected in series these are not in parallel whatever the current that is flowing here the same current will flow through this so these two are in connected series so the equivalent resistance between these two terminals that is t and b is 6 ohms okay so 1 ohm and 5 ohm is in series 1 ohm plus 5 ohm is in series therefore the resultant is 6 ohms so if we write the equivalent circuit if you simplify this what happens see here so after simplification 2 ohms 3 ohms and 6 ohms i have written here okay 2 ohms 3 ohms and 6 ohms the equivalent circuit becomes like this okay so from this given circuit so 3 ohms and 6 ohms connected in parallel you can see 3 ohms connected between the nodes of d and the b d and the b and 3 6 ohms also connected between the nodes of d and the b therefore these two are connected in parallel so what happens the resultant 6 into 3 by 6 plus 3 that is 18 by 9 is equals to 2 ohms okay 2 ohms is the resultant because these two are in parallel so this resultant is in series with this 1 ohm resistor okay so after simplifying what happens so 3 parallel to 6 2 ohms so it can be written like this 1 ohm and 2 ohms becomes is in series now you can see here 1 ohm and 2 ohm is in series so what happens 1 ohm and 2 ohm is in series therefore the resultant is 1 ohm plus 2 ohm that is 3 ohms the resultant becomes 3 ohms this 3 ohms is in parallel with this 2 ohms resistor this is in parallel with the uh, 2 ohms resistor then what happens 2 parallel that is 2 ohm parallel 3 ohm is equals to 2 into 3 by 2 plus 3 that is 6 by 5 that is 1.2 therefore the resultant circuit will be like this rab 10 ohms and 1.2 ohms will be in series so the final answer will be rab is equals to rab equals to 10 plus 1.2 that is 11.2 ohms is the equivalent resistance for the given circuit therefore for the given circuit the equivalent resistance is 11.2 ohms okay 
so thanks for watching this video please like this video and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos thank you